Good morning, crafty friend. Sparkle here. Say, this is going to be a This and That Tuesday, and it's going to be a little different. I'm um, going to be helping you follow along on a technique I saw on Scrapbooking with Me Crafts by Miss Edith. And um, some of you had asked me to make belly bands, and um, I've made them before, but I found this um, paper from... Uh, Daniela at Lily Fee, the Paper Witch, and um, I just I just liked it. It was just real pretty, and it came with um, two pieces of, two pieces of paper were in the kit, and this had I think six strips this size, and that got me to thinking that we could do something with them. So I printed that on cardstock, and I printed another page of that of the plain paper on cardstock. And then I printed a piece on um, this regular typing paper. And what I did was, um, following Miss Edith, is I made these um, belly bands. I'm calling them belly bands with a hidden tag. And um, yeah, so I used these strips here, cut them down to fit, and um, covered. And they go in here. And then this in turn, I'm trying to keep them flat, can go in your journal. And you could just either add it as a belly band here with your um, hidden tuck. Or you could put it on the side of your book. You don't have to put the tuck. This could, this could just be like a bookmark. So there's a couple options. I wanted to use up some of my butterflies and things. So yeah, I thought they were quite cute. And what we used was um, just a regular letter size envelope. And um, you can trim this down because I opened mine at the side and I sort of ripped it. But if you had opened it from here, you would just glue this piece down because what you want to do is um, Cut it in half, and then when you do that, you'll have two pockets. Okay, and then if you have to glue the bottoms, you can glue the bottoms. And then you're simply going to um, cut. I just started this one. You're just going to cut your image to fit on your envelope. So if if this is too big, too wide you can cut it on just regular cardstock. So you cut a piece of this to, to fit your um, cover. And then you can use um, the strips from, from here. You can cut these down to fit in here. They just have to be a little smaller. So we're going to finish this one. So I glued something on here and something on the back. And um, I have my little tag, and I just cut it down, to, and I round the corners off here and cut it down to fit in here, okay? And I just put one of these tabs that I cut with my um, tab punch, or you can use a whale tab, or you can make a tab, or you don't have to put a tab, but it's hard to get out then if you don't. So then, um, yeah, so then you can just decorate it. I'm just going to use up some of my butterflies and maybe put some lace on it. So let's make this one. So make sure we're all glued. And then I want to take, see this is, this is too narrow. So I'll just take this and
and yeah, I just love this paper. I don't know, the collage on it and just the elements is so pretty. And then that'll fit nicely on here. And if it's um, after we glue it on, we could trim it off. Okay. In fact, I don't even like doing it that way. I just like to we're gonna have to shorten this a little bit. I just like to glue it on. I don't know why I showed you that way. It's just easier. Get your glue stick out. And make sure you don't glue it together. I'm going to leave that because what I'll do later is put some lace on, on the top. So let's cover the back. And for that, we just use, um, I just use the plain copy paper one. Next printer I get, I'm getting a borderless printer, I'm telling you. Drives me nuts. I'll just cut this off. Make sure everything's tucked down. We need to do any additions here. Make sure it's still open. Let's see how this, if this would fit in here. Okay, yeah, that'll be perfect. So. Where's my I don't know where my corner corner rounder is. Well, when I find it we'll corner round these two sides. And that'll fit in there. We can put our tab on and I just put it right about there. I don't know, I always think I'm all ready, and then I can't find something. And then you have a journal spot, so I left them plain. So we have 
two ready to decorate, and we'll do this last one. So. Okay, again, this one is going to have an issue with height. So we'll leave that, we'll leave the white up there because I could um, cover it with lace. So. You could use a window envelope too, but they, they feel a little flimsy when you do this. But it works. if one of these is going to fail. I think this one's going to be a little shorter. No, that was fine. So, let's, um, let's just cut this one. It's gonna fit. Okay, so I'll have to shorten it, but the length will be fine. So I just give it a little, give it a little check. Okay, that'll be fine. We'll put our little, little tag on. corners. I did not ink anything. Feel free. Okay. So let's cover the back. Pattern's going that way.
need I need to trim anything. I want to make this a little narrow. Okay, so there we have four belly bands, and let's decorate these um, these three over here. And like I said, I want to keep them flat. I think I want to put that up there to hide my hide my lines. Put this up here. And we're just doing butterflies today and some words and a piece of cheesecloth. She's caught down here. Some of these are stickers. I'm not sure how that'll stick on there. Should be okay. And yeah, the collection was called. Um, the Vintage Dream Collection, the paper collection. Which I thought was so pretty. It says complete in this moment. Just going to keep them simple. Okay. And again, you can make them as wide or as narrow as you want. This one will put, um, put some lace. We'll put some lace on this side. Because then you could hang it off the the right side of the page. That would look nice.
there's a cheese cloth. So it's something to sit on. Take some of these little pearls. I think I want to put them on here because this is kind of plain. Yeah, these came, someone had gifted me these and they're kind of cute. They're already in a pattern. So they're. I think that makes it look pretty. And this one might need something. But let's do this last one here. So we need to cover up here as well. Look how ink this. I did not ink these. You can. I'll probably go through them later and ink them. that one hanging off there. Let's put it down here. And let's um, just put some lace up here. Lace up there, and a piece of lace down here. There's a little spot there. And we have a butterfly for here. Oops. His little antler, antlers, um, antenna got stuck.
And these guys need some words. Um, this one needs some pearls. Where's my pearls? I don't know where they went. Well, here they are. This one needs some pearls. And we'll put some over here. And these two need some words. Beauty and everything. And just green. I'll have to try to find out where I got these words. I just put them in my word folder and then I don't remember where I got them from. Just breathe. Beauty in everything. So what do you think, my friends? I hope I did Miss E proud. And these are going to look great either as um, giveaways or in my journal. And... Um, I hope you have a play with them, and I'd love to see what you make. So thanks for um, hanging out with me this morning. But before you go, I have to show you something. And I don't want to be an enabler, but I've seen these little books on Instagram, and I had to get one. It has a little place for a charm. You know Sparkle loves her charms. They come in different colors. I got this on Amazon. You can add, um, make your own cover. There, you can put an insert in there. And, um, yeah, so this just comes out. I just, um, this is blank, so I just made a little collage with some things that were on my desk, and you can stick this in. Um, I know. And it comes with all these little pages. Are they just not the cutest little pages? And it comes out, and what I thought is, like, when this book got full, I can just put a ribbon or lace or tie or um, rings and then make some new pages. And I just thought each day I could make a little... Um, note of encouragement to myself. So I have some of this paper left over. So let's just, um, yeah, let's just collage with that and see where we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sparkle just has an addiction with um, the little things. I just love them.
You could do two page spreads as well. Just trim them out. So there's my background. Um, I just happen to have some little things already printed and cut and stuff. So I'm going to put this little piece of homemade washi up here. To cover my scene. Yeah, I realize that um, it's going to get bulky, but just take some pages out. And like I said, when it's done, um, I could date it or, you know, do it for the month or whatever. But that was my plan. And I have some uh, smaller things in here. So I can just make a little um, whatever. And I got these little people. They're tiny. But they're going to go on there with one of my words. And maybe I'll put like a little tag over here. Sorry. I'll put a little tab on it here. Of course, I want to try to keep them flat. Okay, this is um, where the holes are, so so the tab is in the wrong place. Ah. So it won't be a tab; it's just going to be a embellishment because. I have to punch my holes. Okay. Then I'm just gonna put um put my girl on. Yeah, if you're visual like me, um, it's nice to punch your holes back in so you know which way you're going. Now, I'm not real keen about the white around there, but, you know, I don't care. And um, I guess I'll use these words since I don't have anything else out. Um... The earth laughs in flowers. Hmm. Make today beautiful. That's certainly appropriate for today. Yeah, so I'm going to probably just make these and post them on my Instagram. I'm not going to do a video. But you can go there. I'll make a little um, link and you could... Um, Follow my words of encouragement each day. But it's another great way to use up the smaller things you have in your stash. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Make today beautiful. And one more little something something yeah that'll be perfect so I think I'll call this my mini words of encouragement so this is things will work out and this says, make today beautiful. So, yeah, I hope you'll stop by and see my little notes of encouragement each day. And um, 
yes, like I said, have a great day, and um, let's be creative, my friends. Oops. Yeah. Bye.